Yes, sir. Rise and grind. Good people, man. I'm back at y'all with another video with the Pull Up King. All right, this video, I'm, I got the ATS back out, and I'm going to get on it. And we got the sway bar. That right there. It's for better handling. It's a thicker one. The other one is uh, pretty thin stock. I'm going to show you how we're going to replace it. And this is where you find it. That right there. Start from this end. And here. It goes across. To the other end. It should be a quick repair. I'll stick around. We have emotion, man. We have emotion. We have emotion. We have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. And we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. I swear I'ma ride for this, I'ma grind for this, I did time for this. I swear I will build for this on God, my partner got killed for this. Cause we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. And we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. I swear I'ma grind for this, I did time for this, I'ma shine for this. I swear I will build for this on God, my partner got killed for this. All right, you want to take off the bottom portion, that skid plate, so you can gain access to this. This is where you're going to find it. This is what I got going. So, got to hold this side so this won't spin. The whole thing won't spin when you turn this. So, basically, I got it tight. And now I can just go ahead and take that off. And it'll come right off. Oh, that's the stabilizer link. Okay, and they do have this Allen key that you can stick in there to keep that from spinning as well couldn't find mine the right size, so I just went ahead and got some pliers. All right, same thing for the passenger side. Go ahead and knock that out. All right, next we got these bolts here. We got two on each side. Those are 13 millimeter bolts. Got them both undone. Now we're just get it up out of here. Okay, so I undid, I took out these connectors from the power steering module. So got those two. And this pump right here. I took out this 10 millimeter bolt that goes here. And it slides out like so. You see that? Oh, so that bolt goes. Drop that. Now I can pull out my part. And you can see the difference, the thickness. Yes, sir. Should be able to tell a big difference in the uh, in the steering, the handling. All right, they give you new bushings to install, so you don't have to reuse these. So I put it in position. It was sticking out, bulging. I couldn't push it in by myself, by my hand. So I tapped it in with my hammer and it went down both sides. Now we're going in. Okay, I got it all in position. I didn't tighten it up just yet. I'm tighten it up right away because 
it has to pivot. It needs to move up and down so you can get that in the hole. You see, I put it in that that second hole. Uh, both sides. Go ahead and tighten it up now. All right, we in there like swimwear. Man, I already did the rear, so we good to go. Front and rear is done. All right, man, that's it. Got that new one in there. Nice upgrade. This thing was light, lightweight. All right, man, y'all know what to do, man. Y'all liking the content, man? Make sure y'all like the video. Give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff, man. Hit that notification bell, man, so you don't hit, miss these videos when they drop. Next time, the Pull Up King. We have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. Hey, we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. I swear I'm gonna ride for this, I'm gonna grind for this, I did time for this. I swear I will build for this on guard, my partner got killed for this. Cause we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. Hey, we have emotion, we have emotion, we have emotion, nigga. I swear I'm gonna grind for this, I did time for this, I'm gonna shine for this. I swear I will build for this on guard, my partner got killed for this. We have emotion, I swear I ain't bragging. And boasted no. on that lean, and that's why I ain't focused. Yeah.